All right, all right. Is a quesadilla technically a grilled cheese? Let's find out today as we have some fun as we go over some cast handstand drills, only using a floor bar with some side stations. Okay, so to start, we're gonna do some seal arch hollows. We're gonna be driving our heels up and then press into a hollow. We have a few variations of this, but each step along the way gets the gymnast to feel the correct shape. We want our heels driving up in a tight arch and then press into a hollow push-up position, or even further, driving our heels up to a handstand and then press into a hollow vertical handstand. We want a fast snap action from the tight arch to the hollow shape through our upper as well as lower back, which is going to keep our legs aligned to whichever way our heel drive or power is going to take us. We need a tight engaged core or else you'll turn into a loose scorpion. Simple arch hollows with something on their feet allows the gymnast to isolate the shape, pressing through the scapula or upper back and then pressing back up to carry our weight. Squeezing your butt and hamstrings will allow the legs to be in the correct position. Using a resistance band here, it allows for the same action and then we can start pushing off the wall and it's great for the kids to start learning how to lean forward and push through their shoulders. Pike ups now will allow the understanding and teach the lean forward and back as well as making it a great starter for straddle cast, getting your hips above your head. I think these pelvic tilts are highly underlooked in the cast handstands as if your hips are tucked under, you won't hit the correct handstand vertical shape. It's simple biomechanics. Some elite conditioned gymnasts can get away with it, but for the most part, understanding the tilt and the shift with your hips will create a better understanding to find handstand as your weight will be stacked entirely on top of your shoulders evenly. TheraBand jump presses allows the gymnast to understand the hip tilt with resistance. Notice that the back is flat, not in an arch. Straddle circles create an understanding to find vertical while stacking and tilting your hips in the correct position. The caster handstand is essentially a straddle jump upside down. You don't roll your hips when you do a straddle jump, so why do it in a handstand? Single leg lifts are essentially the same thing as well as snapping to find and fight vertical handstand. These straddle snaps helps the gymnast to finish in handstand, finding vertical and to control their body through their shoulders and wrists with their legs apart. This will really give you that crispy apple crunch to their fast and aligned cast to handstand. This press to handstand drill with a TheraBand is great as it allows the gymnast to understand and find the correct weight distribution by lifting their hips above their shoulders as the TheraBand keeps them compressed. Touch your toes against the wall in the half handstand and then just bang out some reps. It's the same thing here with the jump to handstand, focusing on the hip lift and then tilt, compressed against the wall. These foam roller rocks do the same thing, where you're pulling your hips over your shoulders and your wrists, and then that's when you're ready to straddle. To finish your cast handstand fast and sharp, these half handstand band snaps will give your quesadilla that bite. We need that golden finish for our handstand. This will stick you out from your competitors, and with a few variations of this drill, it all does the same purpose and butters that bread. Go forward against the wall with your feet up on some blocks to replicate the lean in the cast and press aggressively up to handstand. Here's a great side station with little work but huge results. Band straddle closes to work the abductors. Then you can do some jump to handstands to focus on the circle finish to close. Casting the handstand takes wrist control, so put a bar between panel mats and this will allow the gymnast to understand the control through their wrist. It's not always going to be peaches and cream and you're going to have to fight not to fall over. So a simple way is figuring it out on the floor, starting with your wrists, and then you can move to your shoulders for control. Now we have some static handstands on different surfaces, and using a foam roller really works that wrist control in case you're leaning over and you need to pull it back. Leaning past handstand against the wall, press your shoulders or armpits back to find vertical. If you overcook your cast, this is a great station to really fight and find the handstand. Handstand holds are very important and different variations come great into play with similar focuses. Squeeze your legs between a bar, use a pit block or foam roller against the wall, or if you want to add some salad dressing, use a TheraBand to find vertical, where you can understand to learn and control and hold each different area of the handstand. Without shoulder strength, the handstand is worthless. These shoulder strokes will build strength and help with the pirouette when it's time to learn. Holding handstand between bands on the uprights is great for stability, strength, and understanding. We can also add pirouettes and blindfolds, but start on the ground first, against the wall, and then go from there. If the gymnast is ready, she can now start working the pirouette between the bands as well. 
This is a beauty, a jump straddle pirouette on the way up to catch the handstand against the wall. So now for some strengthening. Some straddle downs, upside down on the stall bar is great for core and as well as your hip lift. Then you can also start working on that leg tightening too. Theraband lifts where you go all the way up, halfway up, as well as holding. Builds the shoulder strength needed for the forward lean as well as the control on the handstand. Dumbbell front raises with our palms up, gets a slightly different muscle in our shoulder and is very important for our control in the handstand. Then, using the same front raise with our thumbs up is another great variation for our shoulder strength. The stronger we are, the easier it will be. Just make sure you're keeping your lower back on the wall and holding a good posture throughout all of these positions. And lastly, butt lifts or ab curls. We'll work the muscles to get our hips above our head in a compressed action. Use these as side stations in your workout and over time you'll see some great results. I hope you enjoyed the video and found a drill useful to implement in your program. So, is a quesadilla technically a grilled cheese? I think so. Like and subscribe, comment below what you think it is.